So let's try something new for fixing uh, tilt. So here's one thing that we can try. Instead of using uh, this where we are changing our look angles and stuff like that, let's try something different. First of all, I'm going to take all of this and comment it out. Okay, this might be even easier than we thought. And uh, let's try this. Actually, I want to get, I want to have my pivot angle, my tilt angle, and my uh, look angle. Okay, maybe we need to find if we want the opposite or the negative. So let's do tilt transform dot rotate. First rotate on on the Y for look angle with the look angle. Okay. That's not tilt transform, but rotation we want rotate. Then tilt transform dot rotate on the tilt angle and tilt transform rotate on the uh, actually mouse x is yeah this this zero zero and pivot angle okay let's try it then It's uh, slightly too fast. So let's say, let's do rotation speed. Let's do it to one. That was super fast. Oh, actually, you know what? I think it has to do with adding those values. And uh, we do not really, dot rotate doesn't actually need to be saved because it's constant change on the values. Okay. Left and right. And rotation. Yeah, okay. Perfect. So, here's the thing. Let's set this back to 0 0.002. And then the only thing I'm going to change is I'm going to negate the tilt angle. Hit play now. And true enough, we actually rotate no matter where we are looking, and uh, no matter our torque and stuff like that. Okay, we have, we are. Yeah, the controls are now oriented based on the camera, so we can move around normally and do whatever we want. So, yeah, that's it for the fix for the controller, actually. Okay, so we can move on and do other things. Perfect. Now, let's do recoil for our guns. So, we have a gun parent, and we're going to make this rotate up and down when we are firing and then lerp back to where it was okay so let's go and say well we're going to need a few variables first onto our weapons so let's go and add the things we're going to need first and let's encapsulate them actually and let's go and add it down here. Let's do a region for recoil and end the region. Okay, then we can have a recoil value value 
we need then a bool for recoil flag okay we need a vector 3 for well actually not the vector 3 we need a maximum recoil value max recoil let's set it to 15 or something and then let's do void handle recoil so we're first going to be getting we kind of need a rotation I guess So, we need a target rotation which will start as quaternion.identity On the end of this, then we're going to be doing a local rotation quaternion spherical erp gun parent local rotation target rotation by the lerp speed The lerp speed will be here And actually, let's see one thing. Yeah, okay. We need also serialized field for float recoil reset speed. Something to let's do point three F. So let speed will be delta multiplied by recoil reset speed for that matter, ok and here we'll have alert speed awesome then if recoil flag which we get on to yeah we're basically going to turn that on when shooting returns to true recoil flag equals true if is shoot we're also going to add a few more things here so that's why I'm adding it that way okay then we need to return back from our runtime weapon we also need the time we last shot so I'm going to rename this to underscore last shot and then I'm going to have a public float last shot to get return last shot okay so on your target rotation we're going to create a new Euler with 0 the h value uh, no the x value we need which is then the recoil value 0 0 okay and then the last left speed will be your delta multiplied by your recoil speed which means you kind of need to set this to here so record speed will be 3 uh, let's say the reset speed will be 1 so it's faster to recall uh, then reset his, his gun back ok we are changing the left speed now if time dot real time since data minus current weapon dot last shot is greater than the recall rate timer which that can be 0.1f to be honest but let's add it as a public variable so that we can add it or change it recoil rate then recoil value plus we want to have some kick for the weapon 
We can do this right inside uh, either runtime weapon or the weapon itself. So, in a sense, we could just do serialize field, float, weapon, kick, let's say 5, and then public float, weapon, kick, get, return, weapon, kick. Then, from your runtime weapon, public float, weapon, kick, get, return, base weapon, dot weapon, kick. Okay, all the getters and setters and, and uh, private uh, methods is just to have, because this is going to be multiplayer, if you have a public variable, it can easily be changed uh, by changing the memory value. Okay, so, recall value, current weapon, dot weapon, kick. Okay, then recall flag, set it to false because you don't need it anymore. And I think that's enough for that. But we also need to say recall value equals mathf.clamp recall value between minus max recoil and max record. Clamp it between those. And let's see. Yeah, so when you actually reset that, the recall flag, you can also reset the value to be current weapon dot weapon kick when this resets. So let's test this, although we might have to play a little bit with the, those values. Okay, recall value stays at zero, although, yeah, as you can see, we don't really need this to be open. Uh, nothing actually happens. Nothing happens because we do not actually have it inside update. That's why. And this is our update. So, since our tilt now works fine, delete all of that. And then just drop handle recoil. Okay, there's our recoil. It's now going the opposite way. So that basically means we just need to negate our recoil value and negate our oiler actually and there we go okay of course this is a recoil value like what you'll see in code where it resets and it's only upwards. We should be adding some, maybe some values for, you know, moving it around, stuff like that, but for now, this will do. Let's trailer a little bit our movement because it's very, very slow. Uh, let's maybe set this to 4 and 4. Yeah, that's much fun. So this is awesome. Then we can start shooting things around. Okay, let's see how we are on time. Okay, we have some more time. So, that's the main idea of with, uh, we now have gunplay, we have movement, and I think I'd rather actually make this even faster to maybe reach a real levels of uh, movement. Real tournament that is, or the real engine. Oh well, you know they are kind of synonymous though. Pew pew. Yeah. So this is pretty much this is cool, and of course we can have different kicks. So let's say 
maximum recoil value maximum recoil can be 35 it's not 35 that's not even 35 that's 35 and we're gonna go on to the revolver and say weapon kick will be 15 as you can see it's much higher awesome perfect so let's stop let's finish with this part now we also have recoil and most importantly we fixed our torque and uh, rotation issues we had so now we can basically we are free to explore the entire world in any way we want it okay awesome so yeah that's pretty much it for this part as always you know what to do like and subscribe and if you like to see more parts more parts for this series or any other series then feel free to say so in the comments but let's also uh, yeah don't forget if you want support me on patreon so we can keep making all of this because I can't really stress enough how much time it takes to do all of this so I'll see you next time